Bryce, today's the day. I can't believe it's finally here. It was so long ago that we were making plans to become husband and wife. Six years ago, I would have never realized what journey we would be embarking upon. I never believed that the 16-year-old boy with long shaggy hair and skinny jeans would grow into the strong, hardworking, and loving man that will be waiting for me today at the end of the aisle. As a little girl, I always imagined what kind of man I would marry. I never dreamed that I would find someone that challenged me to see the world in the way that you do. You are a man who brings tears after laughter and who still gives me butterflies. We got the pr privilege of growing up together. We have experienced so many stages of life together and I cannot wait to experience so many more. I never realized I could love someone as much as I love you. I love your goofy humor, your passion, and the way that you sing songs in the kitchen. I love starting my day hearing, I believe I can fly. I love those mornings when I'm awakened by your crystal blue eyes and a hot cup of coffee. Six years of adventure, from moving all over the state graduating high school and then college. Six years of growing up but never growing apart. You are my soulmate, my other half, the piece of my heart that I never knew I was missing. Today is the day we will reminisce about as our hair turns gray and the wrinkles crowd the space on our cheeks. I cannot wait to share the memories of this day with our grandchildren. You are my everything, and I can't wait to dance with you. I'll see you at the altar. Love the almost Mrs. Christy Clark. My love, I still remember the very first day that we met. Walking up to you in the church and introducing myself was obviously the best decision I ever made because it led me up to this point. Thinking back to those first few years shows how love always finds a way. I never left your side and I never will because when we stick together, anything is possible. There's a big list of things that I love about you, but something that always comes to mind is how much fun you make our lives. No matter what is going on, you always find a way to make us laugh. Christy, you are the true example of unconditional love. You are my best friend, my true love, and my other half. There is no me without you, because you have made me the man I am today. You're the best thing that's ever happened to me, and I'm so excited to continue sharing my life with you. I love you, and I can't wait to see you. Love.
Start off by saying that I was right. <laughs> because a little over six years ago, I told you that you were going to be my wife, and here we are today. From the moment our relationship started, we've been through quite a lot. We fought through some of life's toughest battles, but have always leaned on each other to get through them together. We created a home in each other when nowhere else felt safe. And through those tough years, something I've noticed is I've never laughed harder, smiled more, or been so happy than I am when I'm with you. You are my best friend. And although we have more battles ahead of us, I vow to always be by your side. I vow to explore the world with you, always say yes, your spontaneous adventures. I vow to sing along to whatever song pops in your head. And of course, I vow to love you with all of my heart. You are the beauty, the love, and the purpose in my life. I love you. My sweet love, Today, I am reminded of why I fell in love with you six years ago. We met at a time in our lives when things were unstable, inconsistent, unpredictable. We didn't realize it at the time, but we became each other's steady ground. We didn't know it, but we were creating an everlasting bond. Today, as we stand in front of our dearest family and friends, I think we know it now. Bryce, I am captivated by you. You are my supporter, my protector, my number one fan. Your love and selflessness are unwavering. Everything in me recognizes you as my home. Our love story hasn't been easily written. But it's my favorite. Together we have learned to escape life, and we came right here to these mountains. We escaped life until we became so full of life that we didn't want it to escape us. Bryce, I promise to always run to the tenderness of your heart. I promise to speak when you need words, but also share the silence when you don't. <laughs> I promise to fiercely love you and to have the patience that love, love demands. I promise to laugh with you and at you. I promise to help you love life and always seek adventure. My heart beats for you and I promise you this, I promise to lay my heart in the palm of your hands. I promise that together we can take the world. May I have the rings, please? I'm going to offer a silent blessing on the rings first before we go forward. Christy and Bryce, people often say wedding bands are a perfect circle with no beginning and no end. But these rings did have a beginning. The stones were formed in a long time ago within the earth. Eventually, a series of lucky events 
caused them to rise up to the surface. The metal was then liquefied in a furnace at a thousand degrees, molded, cooled, and painstakingly polished, transforming them into something beautiful made from raw elements. Love is like that. It comes from humble beginnings. Marriage is not a destination, but a journey. It's the process of making something beautiful where there was nothing at all at once. Bryce, you're going to place the ring on Christy's finger and then repeat after me. You are my life, my love. I promise to accept your imperfections and recognize your beauty. I promise to cherish and protect you. I offer you my heart, my home, and my love with all that I am, with all that I have, and all that I ever hope to be. Okay, place the ring on Bryce's finger and repeat after me. You are my life. My love. I promise to accept your imperfections and recognize your beauty. I promise to cherish and protect you. I offer you my heart, my home, and my love. With all that I am, with all that I have, and all that I ever hope to be. Christy and Bryce, may the grace of this day carry forward with you all of the days of your life. There is a wonderful life ahead of you. Live it fully. Love its choices and changes and let life amaze you and bring both of you great joy. Now by the power vested in me, it is my honor and delight to declare you as husband and wife. Bryce, you may now, may now kiss your bride. Dearest family members and friends, it gives me great joy to introduce to you the newlywed, Mr. and Mrs. Bryce Clark.
myself. I'd like to thank you all for sharing with us this very special day to celebrate the marriage of two amazing people. Chrissy is a strong, intelligent, and determined woman who cares about others. She always has a glowing smile that brings sunshine to all she meets. Today, as I watched her marry a wonderful man, I'm filled with pride and I'm confident that she and Bryce are about to embark on an amazing journey filled with love and happiness. I can't think of a better man for Christy. I'm proud of you. Bryce is the most loving and caring guys I know. Bryce is always there for me. And even more importantly, he was there for Christy. Thanks for loving me and everyone you come in contact with the way that you do. You two are some, some of the best people I know. And I love you guys. I go on and on about Christy's character and um, what she means to me. But I think that we all know that sisters mean a lot to each other. We just have all these memories built up. And she's my little sister, and it's so weird to look at her and think she's old enough to get married. Um, growing up, one of my biggest fears was, you know, as an older sister, always making sure that Christy was safe. And, like, I've just always grown up with this worry for Christy. And it's funny because, you know, being with friends, I don't have that worry anymore. So here's a toast to the new little couple, my little sister and my now official brother, Bryce. Uh, being a parent, and you see your children grow up, you start thinking of different memories, something that made you proud. But of all those moments, I think the one uh, probably that I'm most proud of is to see Bryce and the person that he's become, and to realize that, you know, it's not just things that I've done, or that his mother's done, or that his uncle's done, or his grandparents, um, but everyone that's been part of his life. I'm gonna make this quick, but, you know, for two people to stand, you know, for, to listen, if we were all here today, but to have two people give wedding vows uh, that they wrote, and to hear what they said to each other, and the way they said it, there is that, you cannot have any doubt that these two people love each other more than anything in the world. They